Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're here with Summer Man, and today I have another Boxatron another Boxatron delivery. And uh this one's nothing too crazy. Um just some kind of old stuff with some newer stuff, so that's cool. Um Yeah, I mean I am trying to get into the movie line, so I ordered some uh well one movie figure that's in this box and a couple more on the way. Because I, I at first I was not into the movies figures at all. Um, because a lot of the first movie figures weren't that good, so I wasn't interested in the designs or anything. I just, not the designs, just the toy designs. I didn't think they looked good or anything. But, as it turns out, there were some hidden gems among them, because, uh, I, I started looking around this past year, really, and, uh, liking some of what I saw. Because there were, there were, there obviously in every line there is... A couple of figures that aren't that great. Well, we can be honest and say there's some ones that that just downright suck. And but there's usually a couple of hidden gems that are really awesome. And the movie line did have a, a, quite a few that I'm interested in. Uh, I made a list. I've got about I want to say uh, out of all the movies, you know, from Age of Extinction to the very first movie, totaling up to about I think I want to say like maybe like 13 figures, 10, 13 figures. <laughs> ah, sorry, I just sneezed and now my nose is no bleh. But anyways, yes, yeah, so, um, we'll go ahead and open up this box, just, just to show you. And there's some other stuff, too, to, so it's not just the movie stuff, but I'm really into the movie figures after seeing Age of Extinction. I'm like, you know what, my movie line collection does need to grow. Starting with Age of Extinction, it, I mean, I, I do have some past figures, but it's, my movie line collection is tiny. My movie line collection started with, uh, the first movie, Leader Class Megatron, which was, you know, it's alright, it's an okay figure. It's not the greatest of the movie line by far, but it, it's not terrible. But then I also got Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime Truck uh, Leader Class. That one, I was like, I saw that in stores, and I'm like, you know what, I gotta have this. So that was an awesome figure. Um, and also have uh, Leader Class. Yeah, actually, well, most of my figures from the movie line are just Leader Class, now I think about it. But Leader Class, Ironhide, again, that was another one where I was like, you know what, he is really cool and badass in the movie, and he does look cool, and I like his truck mode, so I'll get him. And then Mug Flap and Skids, I actually, I know a lot of people don't like them, I actually like them. Um, I know they were comic relief, really, but I really wanted to get to know them more in the movies. I, I really feel like they could have had potential that was just being, like, you know, blocked out by comic relief, which kind of sucks. But I liked, I did like their designs, I liked their alt modes, I really did like their alt modes, I liked their color scheme and everything. I liked their uh, Human Alliance figures. I was able to get skids, no problem, but Mudflap, man, I don't know, what the heck, that guy is freaking expensive. Mudflap, the Human Alliance Mudflap, you go online, the cheapest you can find is like 200 bucks. I'm like, what the heck? I don't even know why, it's not like he's that different from skids, like in design and anything, they're twins. But I, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, from what I've heard, the reason that Mudflap Newman Alliance version is so darn expensive is because I guess uh, I guess retail he they didn't make that many of them. I guess he came out near the end of the toy line and he was really hard to find, so they didn't really make that many. So I think that's why, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, that's I mean if I can one day get them, I'd love to complete my collection with them. But anyways, there goes much stuff. Trailbreaker, yeah. Nothing special, Generations Trailbreaker, um, or Trail Cutter, I'm sorry. Trail Cutter. I saw him on shelves maybe two or three times and then never again. And every the first time I saw him, his head was on backwards. So I didn't want to take the risk of him having paint damage. The second time I saw him, I think he did have some paint scratches, so I, I was going to wait. Then I just never saw him again. And he was a figure I wanted. I really did want him. I think he's a cool figure. I have Hoist. I did get my hands on Hoist, so... I'm glad I have him now. I think they look great together. There are some add-ons for the both of them, so I might get them. I, I definitely think these both of them are figures worth getting. The only figure now I need from this line is um, uh, boo -boo -boo, uh, Thundercracker. I did have a Thundercracker, but I returned it because I got it for Christmas, and there was some paint damage. So I was like, alright, I'll try to get another one. And I, I after that, I never saw it again. Again, that I don't know what happened with Generations this year, but... Or maybe not this year, but 2013. But like... They they did a, not that great a job of distribution, cause I I just had such a hard time of finding 
um, some figures. Some lines are great. I found them fine, like the Armada Starscream, uh, um, the Scoop, uh, the Minicons, and Skywarp. Got them, no problem. I see the plenty. But, you know, this guy, Thundercracker, I don't think I ever saw in stores. Um, Hoist. I, I saw Hoist a decent amount of times. I missed out on Bumblebee. I kept passing. I was like, you know what? He'll always be here. He's Bumblebee. He'll always be here. And then he wasn't there when I finally decided to go get him. So oh, I'm regretting that. But I'll get him again one day. Um, Goldbug, I, I never saw in stores. Maybe, maybe once. But I really don't think I ever saw him in stores. Waspinator, I saw once. That was it. Dreadwing, I saw once. That was it. Skids, I saw once. That was it. I saw the three of them together once. And that was it. Um, they are getting re-released though, I believe. I think they're, you know, I think they decided to push it back. They like released a couple and then pushed it back. So I do have them on pre-order, TF Source, so that'll be nice when I finally get that generation set. Um, I think that's it for now, but yeah, it's been kind of all over the place. Uh, Swerve and Cosmos, again, I saw maybe once or twice, never again. I snagged them when I did. I saw them. I, I really do like those figures. I'll do reviews on them too, because they are actually really awesome nice little legends figures they did a great job on those guys but yeah again those are figures where i saw you know a decent amount but once they were gone that was it uh so i'm glad i got them uh, i'm trying to think of who else that's just been you know i haven't seen shrapnel yet in uh, tailgate so i might have to get those at tf source just because i i have I'm, I'm holding out i'm hoping i'm gonna find them in stores but i have not yet seen them in stores so i don't know we'll see how that goes but yeah, again, this is I, I, I like this line. I like the IDW style. I actually just went to the comic shop this week and picked up um, every issue, not every issue, but every volume of the graphic novels of, of uh, Robots in Disguise and more than meets the eyes. Just because, uh, again, like I, I was keeping up so well with those series on the issues, but then it just got too difficult for me to keep going to the comic shop. So I was like, you know, I'll pick up all the graphic novels. I'll own... Everything that is known about them, and then they move on from there. I even got the first two volumes of Dark Ener or Dark Energon, Dark Cybertron, so that's going to be fun to read. I can't wait to read that. I'm excited. And then uh, if I can, I'll get some back issues also. I, they saw or they had All Hail Megatron Volume Four, so I'll get that. I know at Target surprisingly actually you can find a, like every Transformer comic book like graphic novel. I don't know how, but then you know Target's Target they have it online at least, so that's cool. Maybe I'll get some from there. But anyways, yes. That was a lie. That was a big tangent just for one deluxe. Next, movie, leader class. Oh, wow, this was totally open before, but whatever. As long as it's in good shape, which it looks like it is. So good. Um, Sentinel Prime. I Again, this was a figure I passed up. I remember I saw him in stores, and at the time I had money for, like, one leader class. So I was like, all right, I'll get higher and hide. I don't know. Do I need this guy? Do I, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I... Yeah. So I got Ironhide, and then I passed up this guy, and I'm glad I have him now. I can't wait to open this guy up. He's really cool and very nice looking. So uh, he was one of those guys I saw, and he just looked really awesome. I'm glad I have him now. Again, looking, he was one of the one of the few figures from the movie that I actually wanted because again, I I was just not uh not feeling the movie at the time, but now I am. After Age of Extinction, I'm like, you know what, my movie line needs to go. So, my movie line, I want to get, I have him, I have a Dark of the Moon Voyager Megatron coming in. I, I do think that's a really cool version of Megatron. I like the alt mode. I like the uh, cloak, the shroud he wears. Um, Human Alliance Jazz I have on the way. So, that was another one I really wanted that, again, is really expensive and hard to find. Not not hard to find, but really expensive. And if you want to get it on TF Source, I think I saw it once and it was gone. So, I was like, you know what, I'll eBay it. That's fine. I have the Human Alliance. I pretty much not not all the Human Alliance figures, but a good amount because I think those were the best of the lines. The Human Alliance ones, they were the most, you know, detailed and such and, and movie accurate, I think. So, maybe not for all figures. I know, I know, I have Sideswipe and he has a giant backpack, but still, I think he's cool. So, Sideswipe, Sentinel Prime. Uh, I want Barricade eventually if I can afford him at one point. He's not too bad. He's a hundred, like, I think the cheapest I found him is a hundred bucks. Not too horrible. I've spent more, so... I can do 100 bucks. Human Alliance Battle, I think it's Battle Blade. No. Human Alliance Bumblebee and then Battle Blade Bumblebee, I think are two separate figures. I, I do want both versions of that Bumble or Bumblebee. So, 
there you go for Bumblebee. I pretty much want the core cast. So Ratchet, just the first 2007 movie version of Ratchet. I think that's a really good version. The best of the of the Ratchets. I think I want to get him. If we could get the movie advanced Ratchet in his green color scheme, I'd love that. The deluxe version. I think that would be cool. But they're making him a G1 accurate color scheme, which I might do. I might get that. I think that it's growing on me. At first I was like, I don't know. I kind of want to stick with the movie color scheme. But the mold does look awesome. And it is G1 color, so I think I could forgive it. Um... The movie advanced Wheeljack, as soon as that goes up pre-order on TF Source, I'm going to pre-order it because, again, I love Wheeljack and he's awesome. That like The fact that he didn't exist before sucks, but him. Movie advanced Devastator, I think that's a nice figure. Uh, the All the little Legends class size Constructicons turn into the one, probably like Voyager size or maybe a little bigger size uh, Devastator, which I think is fine. That's a good enough size. I don't need a another huge figure on my shelf that's going to be hard to find space for so I I'm fine with that um, um, Human Alliance let's see Barricade Jazz Bumblebee Sideswipe Skids Mudflap I think that's it for Human Alliance actually I don't think there's anything else no I think that's it and then Dino I want the movie advanced Dino he looks cool um, movie advanced Jolt he looks good too. He he looks definitely works looks worth getting. Um, Dark of the Moon, Voyager Shockwave. I want the uh, the Human Alliance Soundwave, but that's unreasonable. Like there's again, that's like mud flap where the price is just ridiculously high. It's just like ah, I'm not even gonna try. Like that's crazy. Well, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it for the movie figures. I think I'll be good with that. I'm trying to think of who else, what are the movie characters there are. Oh, the Wreckers. The Human Alliance Wreckers. Um, Leadfoot and Roadbuster. And then just get the, the regular deluxe top spin. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a Human Alliance version, but still, they'll look great together. I think the Wreckers look really cool in the movie, so good. I like the fact that they're all NASCAR just because it's... At first, I didn't like it just because I was like, eh. I kind of like the, the how the Wreckers are kind of misfits, kind of. Like, they're all, like, really tough alt modes usually but they're different they're just like crazy and obscure and just like out totally out there on their alt modes they're just like there's no way this vehicle exists but you know what i do like the, the movie fact that they're nascar you know they kept it one distinct type of car and i i, I it grew on me so that's cool i think that's about it uh, on the movie figures uh, i already have the age of extinction figure so pretty much it but yeah that's a good amount that's a hefty collection so there we go. Again, another tangent, but cool. And the main figure of this box that I was looking forward to is Tempest. Yes, look at that. It's KFC Toys Tempest. Uh, I know KFC is pretty new, but I was willing to give him a chance because I heard such great things about uh, uh, Citizen Stack, the Ultra Magnus figure they made. So that got pretty good reviews. I know a lot of people were saying how awesome that was. So like, I was like, you know what? I'll give uh, their Cyclonus a chance. Because I do have Galvatron. I have Hegemon pre-ordered the second run. So I figured, you know what? He'll look great. I don't own a Cyclonus Classics figure. And this looks like it's going to be the best Cyclonus we'll ever get. So I was like, alright, I'll give him a shot. We'll see what they got. And I'm excited to review this guy. I'm definitely going to um, review this guy. So my plan is... Uh, I already filmed my Fortis and Bovis reviews, so I put up my Bovis already. I'm going to edit my Fortis tonight, hopefully film Leo Ducks, get everything ready for that. Um, then after that, I'm going to do probably Tempest. Yes, I'm going to do Tempest. Then I'm going to do Super Sentai stuff. I'm going to do my Russian Sentai Tokyo stuff. I have a lot of that stocked up, so it's just a matter of filming it and editing it and putting it online because there's a lot more to come with that series so I have a lot of pre-orders for that also uh, Comic-Con is this week so lots of great news Saba Saber for White White Ranger Saba Saber I have that pre-ordered it looks amazing from what I've seen pictures of so I have that as soon as I saw that pre-ordered it uh, same with Legacy uh, White Tiger Zord pre-ordered it that's gonna look amazing as well that's another awesome figure Legacy Titanus Toys R Us pre-ordered it done so I got all my Legacy stuff pre-ordered. I'm excited. The only thing that's not up yet for pre-order is the Legacy uh, Power Rangers movie White Ranger uh, Morpher. So it's basically the same as the Silver Morpher, 
It's just instead of having black lightning bolts on it, it's going to have white lightning bolts. And it's going to have a white uh, buckle. Not buckle, but like, uh, I guess like the outer buckle. Like, it's, like you know, normally it's a black chunk part that the buckle is actually in and that you pull it out of. It's going to be white. And it's going to have a, a falcon coin. So I'm thinking about getting it. Not too sure yet. Oops, that was loud. Not too sure yet. Um, maybe I'll get it. I don't know if it's worth the money. It depends on the price. If they want to say 50 bucks, I, I could do 50. I don't know about 60 or 70 because that's what I'm imagining. 60. I can definitely see them. I might do 60. I don't know. I might. Put, the thing is, how many morphers do I need? Because I've already got the gold and I've already got the standard. But then again, this one comes with the falcon coin and the white buckle part, which I do think is cool. I like that. Plus, if I have the Saba Saber, it's just going to look even better with that. So, I'll see how that goes. Um, people are, everyone's like, hey, let's do a whole ninja collection. You know, the whole ninja coins. Wolf, toad, or frog. Um, ape. Uh, what else was there? Um, bear. Crane. Or was it falcon? No, no, crane and falcon. There was a crane and a falcon. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. So, people, everyone's like, hey, we should get a whole set of those. I don't know if I can go in for a whole set, but we'll, we'll see how things go. I have my Power Morpher Con tickets. I'm excited for that. I just ordered them the other days. I got the Silver Ranger package, so I'm excited to go to Power Morpher Con. That'll be fun. But uh, I've kept this video going long enough. So anyways, guys, this has been Samurai Man. Don't forget to follow me on Tumblr at Macation and Instagram at Mechas of Iron Heart. I will have pictures of everything I just bought. Um, I, I already put up pictures of the uh, Saba Saber the White Tiger's Horde. From what I've seen at Pomicon, I just took those pictures. Uh, Legacy Titanus. I, I mentioned that pre-orders pre are up at BBTS and Toys R Us for whatever that's offering it. So, yes, don't forget to keep up with me there. You'll get all the info. Uh, and just don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it when you guys do. I love talking to you guys. And you all just have a great day!